Joining me is the National President of the Pharmacy Guild of Australia, George Tambasis. George, thank you so much indeed for coming in. The panic buying, how bad is it? I've been working in my pharmacy the last three days or so, Andrew, and there's certainly a heightened awareness of these issues that you just related to. So uh, some patients are anxious, but they are listening to the advice that pharmacists are giving them in pharmacies all around Australia. Of course, I'm in constant connection or contact with other pharmacies, but in my pharmacies in Melbourne, they're listening, they're being reasonable with the amount of medicines they're allowed to have. We have professional and ethical and regulatory you know, obligations that we've got to abide by, and doctors have been fantastic in terms of the prescriptions they're writing. We're abiding by the quantities, a moderate amount of medicine. We're definitely, I'd like your viewers to know, there's no reason to stockpile at the moment. But people are trying to do this. People are trying. And you're but trying to say, don't, you don't yeah, need no, to, please don't. they're very them. good. I mean, yeah. I have seen a lot of anxiety in Brunswick and in Craigman where I worked the last couple of days, but they've been really good. They're waiting. I mean, some of these people, unfortunately, are working from home, so they're obviously out and about. They want to ask questions from their pharmacists. Please feel free to come into our pharmacy and ask questions, but there are certain guidelines that we've got to uh, abide by. The Pharmacy Guild of Australia, my organisation, is in constant contact with the TGA, the Federal Minister of Health, Mr Greg Hunt, I spoke to him twice today, certainly talking to uh, stakeholders across the whole supply chain. If there are some out-of-stocks at the moment in pharmacy, it's only a temporary out-of-stock, Andrew. Because they're still at the warehouse. Yeah. They're at the warehouse or they're even one step behind the medicine manufacturer hasn't had a chance to supply to the warehouse and in 24 hours time any of those uh, medicines that you referred to earlier they'll be in stock again in your pharmacy. So there's pharmacy. no problem of people running out. You I don't need every to... every prescription yesterday. I looked yeah. after all my patients that were asking for over-the-counter medications. They all listened to reasonable advice and if they looked like they were stockpiling they even listened to advice to just, just reduce their amount of stock, leave a Panadol syrup for the next customer. You only need one Panadol syrup for your patient or for your child. Same with prescription medicine. Yeah, but other people might not be doing as reasonable as you. What about this fear, uh, you know, that with India and China providing so much of the basics yep. of the medicines, that's, that's a risk, isn't it? We, we need to think more about sourcing things here. Again, obviously that's a great idea, but we're in constant contact with the medicine manufacturers and they're saying there is no out-of-stocks that are linked to the COVID-19 issue right now. Right. So they constantly keep an eye on that. We have a, we have a working group with the TJ that, that meets every Tuesday. I had a meeting today with the TJ head, John Skerritt, and all the medicines companies, the generic companies, mm -hmm. and they're all saying, saying the same thing to me, Andrew. Tell all your members, all pharmacy owners out there, there's no members or no members anymore. At the moment, we all got to work together. So we're giving the same advice to all pharmacies, whether they're members of the Guild or not, that please do not tell your patients to stockpile. There's no need. Because it's the stockpiling that will cause that the shortage. Will, that will eventually, there's, there's what we call the supply chain, Andrew, and that supply chain, you know, under pressure, may buckle, but not if everyone stays reasonable. <laughs> That's the message I want to tell you. George, after please. seeing all these fights in the uh, supermarket, the idea that Australians are going to stay reasonable, let us hope. Thank you so much for You're giving welcome. us that reassurance tonight. You're